April, you told me that attendance in FLVS clubs tripled in the 2020-2021 school year. Yes, and one thing that the club leaders or sponsors, as we call them, told me is that it was really important from the first couple of meetings to ensure policies and procedures are in place, as leaving things open means nothing gets done. Organization was key. What are some of the other strategies they've used to be successful? They use a Google form to start getting to know students, and they use icebreakers. Also, they've stressed to me that having leadership roles for students creates an atmosphere for student-run clubs versus the adult running things. They also find it helpful to divide an hour meeting into different parts to make it more engaging. How does something like a cooking club happen in a virtual format, especially when you have a lot of student members? Videos and projects are very important. In the cooking club, students are able to present their recipes and show others how to cook them. They even created a digital cookbook, and this year they are planning a hardcover cookbook. It's our most popular club for sure. Last year during the pandemic surge, we had 600 students sign up in middle and high school, and we have a cap of 300 to keep it manageable, so we had more interest than we could fill. Do any of the clubs encourage members to do community service? Definitely. Last year, students and clubs completed 4,600 community service hours. What are some recommendations for other online programs considering starting up or expanding student clubs? Prior to club startup, survey students to see what their highest interests are and reevaluate these interests each year. Later, we recommend you consider the costs associated with each club. Some clubs require membership in organizations, which costs money, and clubs are typically self-sustaining. With our student surveys, we found that besides cooking, our students are really interested in art and gardening at the elementary level. Coding and other tech-based clubs are really important to all of our students. And finally, make sure that there are people in leadership at the school who will support you. Leadership is important because without their belief in club activities, you won't go far. We are fortunate that our FLBS leadership recognizes the importance of clubs. It's part of our mission to put students at the center of all we do. And Amy, given your experience and research on social presence and what you've learned from April about FLBS clubs, what would you recommend to other online programs? I'd say, honestly, why wait? Start today. The more opportunities for students to connect, the better. Virtual clubs can allow students who are serious athletes and performers a flexible opportunity to be involved and connect to each other and to your school without missing their intensive out-of-school practices and competitions. I can also see how clubs can provide diverse learners with an opportunity to be more involved and connect to your school. I believe clubs will help students enhance their teamwork skills, learn valuable time management, and build positive relationships with other students, teachers, coaches, parents, and community members. The National Center for Education Statistics Research suggests that students who participate in clubs in traditional schools score slightly higher on standardized exams, have slightly higher GPAs, and have better attendance records than students who did not participate in clubs. So in my view, clubs are a win-win for your school and for your students.